Hey everybody, this is Aaron with GeoAce here for another QGIS in the field tutorial. Today we're going to be covering video two of two in our image kind of mini series here, our photo mini series for Q Fields. So uh, in the last video we covered if you just want one photo per feature. Uh, today we're going to be covering if you want multiple photos per feature and so we're going to need to do some things to prepare for that. We're going to need to create a feature class and set up some unique IDs and things like that but uh, we'll walk you through it from start to finish. So um, with that being said let's go ahead and jump into it and I'll see you in QJS. Okay so we're going to go ahead and get things moving here. Uh, first and foremost what we need to do is we need to make a home for the plant photos to live. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to right click on the geo package that we've been using and hit new table and we're going to say plant photos is the name of our layer. Uh, geometry type should be no geometry and we're going to add field and in this case we're going to put plant ID. This is going to host the ID of the plant species observation that we have. It's going to be type text. The next field we're going to add is our path, so the path to the image that we're storing. This one should be longer. If you can't see this very well in the video, it's length 30, and then this next one is the length 255. Uh, we're also going to add a notes section. And this is just in case people want to comment, so especially if you have a photo gallery, uh, people might want to say what's going on in each of the photos. And then the last thing I'm going to make, just because it's best practice, is actually um, a plant photo ID. Specifically with scripting and things like that, it's kind of important to have some sort of persistent ID identifier that's not tied to an object ID or something managed by the software, so that's why I'm going that route. So we've made our plant photos layer. We're going to go ahead and add that to our project. We're going to keep it on the bottom. That's what I like to do if there's no geometry. And then we need to add a unique identifier to our um, plants layer, our plant species layer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to call this pretty simple UUID. And then the text is going to be the type and the length is going to be 30. Hit OK there, looks like we're good. We're going to hit OK, toggle editing to make sure it saves. And then uh, what's next to kind of make this all work together is going up to Project and Properties. And we're going to go to Relations. So it's on the left hand side. If you go to Down Relations, go to Add Relation. And then we're just going to call it Plant Photos is the name. Uh, the relationship strength is important, so let's go ahead and put Composition. Our referenced or parent layer is actually going to be Plants. Okay. And then our field is going to be uh, what we just made, UUID. And then our referencing, our child, is going to be referencing our plants layer. Uh, that's fine. And then our identifier, though, we need to change that over to uh, plant ID. Hit OK. Hit OK again. Because we're already working with that layer, let's go ahead and start with the plants layer. We'll go ahead and do that attribute form work. We're going to right click, go to properties, attribute form, and then we're going to drag our UUID over to our form layout here, um, but we don't actually want to see it. We just want everything to be able to reference it. So make sure you go to hidden and then the default value again important is uh, if you go to the search bar here and put in UUID, there are a couple different options. Uh, double click record and attributes and um, if you just close it, you can see that there are curly braces here. We don't want those curly braces. As a programmer, they can be really annoying, so I'm just going to put the without braces option. Oops. Helps to format it correctly. Okay. And now you can see the uh, curly braces are no longer there. I'm going to hit OK. And then hit OK again. Actually, we're not going to hit OK just yet. Uh, we're, we'll hit Apply, and then we're going to start adding in our photos. So we're going to drag our plant photos in. And then we also uh, will drag in the single photo from last tutorial as well. We're going to add in a group and we're just going to call it photos. And we're going to add both of these to it, given an appropriate label. So we'll just label this one single photo, looks good. And then plant photos, we will label photo gallery. 
I don't think there's anything else to do here. Um, nope, we should be good to go. And finally, the only thing that we have left to do is to configure our plant photos attribute form. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to attributes form. We're going to hit our drag and drop designer and add in path notes and plant photo ID. And before we tweak any of those, I want to just point out for plant ID, just make sure you match what I have here. So you need to have a relation reference, excuse me, relation reference. Display expression can be species or whatever you want, but just the, the second most important thing to note is that your relation is the relationship that we set up earlier. So in this case, it's plant photos. Um, now we can move over to our form. So plant photo ID, we can move that to the bottom, but uh, it's going to be just a repeat of what we did on the plants layer. So we're going to hit hidden here, and our default value is going to be UUID uh, without braces. Hit OK. And then notes, we don't need to do anything with, it's just open text. And then last but not least, the widget type needs to be uh, attachment here. This is going to be very familiar if you watched the last tutorial. So you're just kind of going to do a repeat of that. Um, I don't need to put an alias in this case. So default path here. This is important. You need to put uh, at project underscore home plus forward slash dsim. Again, if you haven't watched the last tutorial, the main thing that you need to do that I'm not going to show in this video is you just need to get into your project path, your project directory here, and add uh, or create a folder with the name dsim. Uh, that way, when your photos come back from the cloud down to your local machine, it has somewhere to go. And then store path as relative to project path and integrated document viewer image and you can change that however you want to in terms of width and height one thing that i forgot to mention earlier with your plant id make sure very 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 important that unique is not uh, checked we we want this to be a many to one relationship which means that unique has to be blank or uh, not checked so that's all that's left to be done here, all we really need to do is to sync it up, and I'll see you in QField. All right, so we have the new version of the project downloaded to our local device. We're going to go ahead and uh, give this thing a test. So first off, we're going to make sure we're in edit mode, and we're going to add a new feature. We've got to put in the required fields. Okay, uh, and then as you can kind of see here, we have a single photo, which was from uh, the last tutorial. If this is the first tutorial you're watching, that's fine. Uh, just realize that that's what the difference is. And then the photo gallery is the uh, second, and that's what we just set up. So we're going to take a picture of the mushroom mouse pad again. Perfect. Okay and add in any note and then we're not going to take a note on the second one and we're going to use our camera reel here okay looks good and then last but not least we're going to do the same thing um, camera reel with a note i'm just going to say plant done we're going to hit our checkbox we're going to hit our checkbox again for the actual plant species, and then we're going to push our changes. Uh, that should be all that we need to do, and I'll see you back in QGIS if you want to see how it looks in uh, the local desktop version of QGIS. All right, we'll see you there. Okay, everyone. Take a deep breath. We made it. So let's go ahead and hit our sync button. And we have, as you can see, a lot of images to come over and the geo package. So that should be everything that we need. Go ahead and go to perform actions. All right, looks like we're all set. I'm going to use the identify tool just to show you here. And there it is. You can see all of the things. We got our plant notes. We have our images themselves. And now you've seen everything in the process. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. 
it's been a long one, but uh, it's a helpful one. I know that there are a lot of times out there when people would like more than one photo per um, feature out there. So uh, if you like this, please like, subscribe. And also, uh, I'm looking for new topics. Uh, if you need to know how to do anything in QGIS, just uh, leave a comment and uh, we'll add it to our queue. Thanks, and we'll talk soon. Bye.